There's the gang is all here. <laughs> the gang is all here. Yes, they are. Listen, listen, stop biting my heels. That's a scooter. Come here, here. A scooter. Is that you, buddy? Come here. I'm not sitting on the bench. <laughs> here you go. Come on up. You ready? Here. Oh, they're all coming here now. I'm giving them whole hot dogs. There, he got one from St. Francis. Isn't that great? Scooter's behind. The scooter's gone in there. So I'm going to sit in the... I'm not going to get the tripod out. It's another rainy night. It's going to be like this all week. Temperature's down low. We're down to... Oh, I know what's scaring them. It's that flag. Flag was flapping. <laughs> what do you want? You want me to deliver? Deliver? Special delivery? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'm going to take that flag in. That's a pain in the ass, that. Uh, oh. I'll just set that in the corner here for now. That's disturbing the raccoons. Well, you can't go up there. Come here. Come here. Come on. There's already somebody up there. Come here. Woody, come here. <laughs> he still won't take the hot dog from me. Here. There you go, baby. There you go, baby. You ready? You get it? Go get it. I hear you growling. This is Scooter. <laughs> oh. oh, we got one over here. Here. I'm getting some strangers coming now. Oh, I have to get up again. I gotta get up and down for him. Look. <laughs> the two of them up there now. Uh, one fellow's going to eat his upside down. Okay. Here. He got a bad paw. Yeah. He got a bad paw. Might have stepped on something in the woods or sharp rock or something. Part of living in the woods. Here, come on, Woody, come on. See, he runs downstairs and he goes to the back of the house. <laughs> he yanked that right out of my head. Are you coming over? No? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, he yanked that right out of my hand. So Connor had his hair cut. And everybody's complaining that uh, we should have had the line cut. Well, uh, if we went that route, he and Charlotte wouldn't be allowed to eat the night before. Here. Come here. Yeah, he and Charlotte wouldn't be allowed to eat the night before. And... Uh, and he'd have to be put to sleep. So they were going to assess him to see how bad it was. And she said it was just bad on the back end. Come on, Woody. Come on. So anyway, she said that uh, we'll do what we can. And anyway, they brought him out. And of course, I didn't see what he looked like until he got home. There, Woody. Where you go. And, but anyway, he, he slept all day and uh, most of the day in the, uh, here, in the haunted house. And, uh, 
and then he slept on the couch, and then he went on his chair, and I had to go down and do my month-end work on the computer. Here. And, uh, he came down and laid on the bed down there, and then when, of course, I come upstairs, he come upstairs. I don't know why that traffic, I guess because the road's wet, it's making a noise. But Charlotte doesn't have a knot. She has a little one in the front, which I can snip off with a pair of scissors. And I found one more little one on there, and I mean, it's really tiny. I'll get that one tomorrow when, I, when he gets up to get fed. And uh, I just snip it off with a pair of scissors. It's only a little one. And it's out way out from the fur. But no, those out the... He had real big bad ones on the side, and I know they were pulling on his skin. So... That was the whole idea, to give him comfort. And he doesn't know. He doesn't know whether what he looks like. Here, Woody, run. Run. You gonna run? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna stay. Okay. Oh, look. <laughs> He's trying to go up on the, on the rail, and look who's growling at him. Scooter, Scooter, come here, look. Here, come here. Who, who looked at you, boss, anyway? Here. Go get it. Go get it. <laughs> I'll tell you what I saw funny. Was, uh... I'll tell you what I saw funny was, uh... This little fella here had his face pressed against the window watching to see if I was getting hot dogs and Charlotte slapped the window. <laughs> yeah. She said, you get out of here. Yeah, she smucked the window. I can't put the chimes, the chimes are right behind me here. I can't put them out front there because it's too windy. I don't want them to get wrecked. And the other ones that ever, nobody liked, I gave them away to my neighbor. She says, I like chimes. I said, here, you got to get yourself a set of chimes. I said, too many people complained about them. Here. Here. Come on over. You gonna come over? Poor little Paula. Yeah. <clears throat> You're still eating, are ya? And Scooter letting you eat there. Everybody's gone on the left here. So we just got these two. But I'll tell you, Scooter's he's got his head stuck out through the bars. He's watching to see who's coming and who's going. Well, you ready for another one? Here, Woody, come here. You got it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just see the big fellow. There might have been Ben. <clears throat> he grabbed a hot dog and took off of the woods. Here you go, buddy. You gonna take it? There. You gonna eat there? Come on. Come on, Scooter. Come on, little fella. My God, you're tiny. Not much to you. No, there's not much to you. That's three pounds of hot dogs. I think I'm just gonna put some cookies out and dry food, and that'll be the end of her. Yeah. I get hair in my mouth. That's from Connor. No, he wouldn't eat that hot dog. He's leaving. He didn't even finish it. Well, I'll just put... There's only two hot dogs left. I'll put them out. 
And I'll put the dry out, the cookies, and we're all done. Like, yep, they're all leaving. Good. <laughs> That'll be it for tonight then. Okay, we're all done. I'll turn off that big light. And speak of the devil, <laughs> there's Charlotte. There's the fellow went to the barber, didn't ya? Huh? You were at the barber shop? Yes. His hair is so thick, like you can see the difference. You can see the difference in the hair uh, between the back and the. Let's see if he jumps up here. Come on. You see the difference? Look. It's it's so thick here, look. Yeah. But his hair is really, really thick. Look in here too. But they've done all his belly for me. There's no knots there. I feel I feel one. No, there's not no, it must be the other side. No, I don't feel that one either. Where's the, that one I felt earlier? I was petting you. Oh, I must have brushed. I'll just, I'll just take the comb and comb it out. Yes, that's a good boy. You were a good boy, weren't you? Yes, you were. Were you a good boy? And what, they're, they're going to have strudel tonight, too. I'm going to cut some of them up for them. Connor, real good boy. Real good boy. I got a lot of bad comments about you. Yes. Yeah, they didn't like, they thought we were being cruel. Well, oh, he's climbing on top of me. <laughs> we weren't being cruel. We're just getting them. They were hurting them. And, uh, you know, he can get break out and stuff and everything. So that wound up done right away. There. And he, he doesn't know the difference. Yeah. As soon as he get, as soon as he have to hit something to eat when he get home, he start rubbing up against me and everything, aren't you? Yes, you were. He loves his daddy. He sure does. Yeah. Well, you won't get poop in your pants now, will ya? Huh? You won't have poop in your pants? No. <laughs> That's what my wife used to say to her cat, Buddy, you got poop in your pants? And he'd run and hide. Because he'd know she'd be going after him for it. <laughs> yeah, that all grow back. I had him in a line cut before. Yes, I did. Yes, we did. Yeah, and what when you get her done, uh, but she's got no knots, only a little one in the front, but uh, I can get that. When it starts to grow out, I just snip that out. But Tracy said that uh, it's good not to shear them because uh, the fur acts as an insulation to the heat and the cold. So, yeah. And I got my new floodlights, and the other ones are all packed and ready to go back to Amazon. I never, I've done this once before. But anyway, I just, uh, and they even make you the sticker, look. Isn't that neat? Yeah, they even make the sticker for you. I want to put that full ice, I can put big ice in that. Yeah. And, uh, and I got my little thing there. That's from Denise. And we're already eating. Uh, we started. We, this is. Uh, we started on the first bag of. Uh, off the. Uh, this is the stuff she sent up. Rock and lobster. We're about halfway through it. He likes that stuff. So does she. She's eating it. <laughs> All right, we're going to close off, and uh, anyway, we'll talk to you guys again tomorrow night, hopefully. If all goes well. Thanks for uh, signing on and watching, and if you didn't subscribe, hit the old subscribe button. And subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'd love to have you on here. 
and visit uh, the um, my website, which is theraccoonwhisperer.ca. Uh, we have clothing there, and also the book written by Christine McKinnon is on there too, and it's uh, it's a good read. Anyway, we'll talk to you again uh, tomorrow night.